welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video I am basically going to be showing you guys what is in my beautiful makeup bag because I love wearing makeup as you can tell I've got a very bold eye colour on I've got a bit of purple on today I mean I am also a makeup artist as well so I do like to try the new bits and bobs out and obviously try them out on myself and I just love makeup pretty much like you like to see into that. I just absolutely love my makeup. So of course I am going to have quite a big makeup collection and I do condense it down into a makeup bag of this size. This is probably on the larger size of the makeup cases or bags, whatever you call them. But honestly I wear makeup probably three or four days a week so I don't wear it all the time but I wear it enough to you love these products and stuff you know what i mean but before we get into this video please make sure to leave the thumbs up be nice to get to a like goal of 25 likes on this video so if you're watching please make sure to leave a thumbs up also leave a comment and subscribe because I'm nearly at a far thousand subscribers now well, hopefully it might be there by the time this video is up who knows please subscribe and without further ado let's go on with the video here is my makeup bag it is a christian dior kind of top handle bag this is off dhg if you if you guys have not watched my recent dhg hauls please make sure to watch them i will link it in the description if i if i remember but if i if i forget to link it please remind me because i can be forgetful with linking things but anyway yeah so here is my makeup bag it is the classic your print I absolutely love this it's very big it's easy to transport it's obviously very easy to carry and it it cleans up very nicely it never really stains and it's just a good size for all the makeup that I have because obviously as I said in the start of the video I, I am a makeup artist and obviously I like to try things out for myself and I do have a variation of the products in here so if you just open it up, it has two zips. It's a really good makeup bag. Yeah, the zipper is great. I've, I've had no faults with the zipper. You open it up, it's got like a little pouch at the top. I currently don't put anything in there at the moment. It's just because I've just got plenty of space in here really. But it's like a suede material inside and it's a really good material for just easily wiping. I actually use a Fabulosa wipes for wiping it up and those wipes are amazing for cleaning anything really but here it is and inside is all of my makeup i do also put with my makeup brushes in a plastic bag in here but for today's video i thought it'd be a bit boring showing all of my dirty makeup brushes because they do need cleaned i currently have three foundations because i'll explain so i've got the two face bonnets wear foundation in the shade snow and this is my normal natural skin tone foundation and i got a new bottle for my 20th birthday so thank you mum for getting me that because i was in need of one but this foundation is good i'm not going to say it's excellent because sometimes it can kind of separate on my skin a bit depending on what products i've used beforehand let's got a notification yeah yeah, sometimes it can separate and it can sometimes kind of smudge and stuff and it's a medium coverage if you know me i absolutely love a heavy foundation like a thick coverage um this foundation is good for when my skin is obviously a lot clearer i don't have as many spots so i obviously have the nars the natural radiant the long hair foundation i i also got this for my 20th birthday because they actually asked for this because everybody goes on about this and this foundation is my absolute favourite it, it is in the shade the Punjab this is my fake tan shade and it probably, it probably still looks really like some people but when I tan I never go really dark like fake tan I mean I never actually properly tan in real life I wish I did but I don't you'll see it's in Punjab it's a really good foundation a little goes a long way with this like i put a pump on both cheeks forehead nose and chin that fills my face up perfectly it's so smooth and flawless on the skin it is more pricier but it's a really good foundation and i only really wear this more for special occasions because it's just 
one of those foundations that I like to be excited when I use it, if you know what I mean. And then final foundation, I've actually used this on my skin today, I actually need a new one because there's nothing in this but it is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish and this is meant to be 25 hours a long way. I don't believe that for one second, I would hate to have my makeup on for 25 hours but it's a really good foundation. Now, the coverage is I'd say the medium to high, it's really good again if when you don't have as many spots because sometimes it can show up your spots but it's really good for kind of every day or if you want to be saving your expensive foundations for another time this is the in the middle foundation for me i'd say and i think it's only 10 pounds if that um, and this is in the shade soft beige a setting spray i'm i'm currently using the revolution pro hydro matte fixing spray it with setting sprays to be honest i feel as if they don't do a lot to your face. They obviously do they set your makeup to a certain extent, but it's just nice to be able to put highlighter on afterwards. I think it it does kind of give your skin a bit of a glow, and it does work. But it's I I never really you want to spend a fortune on setting sprays because that's what primers are for to keep your makeup in place. But yeah, the Revolution Pro is a really good brand. It's basically just the makeup revolutions the more expensive the range but honestly you can tell a difference because it's just so much better but yeah i love this on the packaging it's cute and then also use the Too faced the peach and primey primey the primed and peachy primer oh my god that's a mouthful yes this is a matte primer and it's obviously really good for my oily skin it does smell of peaches i think i got this for my 18th birthday but I can't remember if this is a newer bottle but honestly Too Faced makeup I, I absolutely love it like it's always so good and it is pricey again it is like a high end brand but they obviously pay for the cute packaging and it is obviously really good quality but yeah this primer is really good and I do recommend it to people who do have oily skin I absolutely love their natural lust the bronzer unfortunately they have discontinued this which I am absolutely devastated about I actually got this for my 18th birthday and this is the same the bronzer like I'm now 20 years old I obviously have hip pan and I am obviously losing a lot of the products I am going to have to look into getting a new one I really want to try and get the same the bronzer because it's honestly so good it's like a kind of slightly shimmery bronzer but you can build it up or just kind of keep it natural and it's a really big bronzer as well so no wonder it's been able to last for two years. Concealer. The only concealers I use is the Makeup Revolution ones, the Conceal and Hydrate because they blend on your face like a dream. I currently use C3 because it's a good shade when I don't have any tan on and it's also a good shade when I do have tan on because it doesn't look too bright or too dark. It's like the perfect shade um, and it does obviously make your eyes the brighter and it, oh, it's just insane like I can wear this with nothing else on and it'll make me look much more alive I'm telling you now um, and this is the bigger size but yeah it's a really good concealer highly recommend the Revolution Pro CC, CC Perfecting Pressed Powder yeah, this is a really good it is a really dark powder but I love using a dark face powder because it just it makes your face darker and obviously Revolution Pro makeup is amazing the packaging is really cute it's gold again if you can see a theme it's like a gold theme it's so cute yeah there's nothing much to say about powders it does set my face really nicely um and it is really good quality doll beauty highlighter like a diamond these highlighters are so pigmented you only need a little bit yeah, they do blend out really nicely for when you have maybe put a little bit too much on but yeah it's they're pretty in pink and it's gold as well. The Dolby Beauty makeup is really good. I absolutely love the highlighters and the glosses and the lip liners and the eyelashes, you know. But yeah, Dolby Beauty is definitely up there with one of my favourite products anyway. And I also have an eyelash box because I'm actually using the eye candy eyelashes in India at the moment. But they're very nice. They're not too big in your face. 
they're the kind of natural but like a little bit glam but I love them I then also I use P. Louise their base in the 0 0.5 it is slightly too light for when I wear fake tan so I take the one out of my beauty kit and yeah, that's in number three I think and that's perfect for when I wear fake tan this is good for when I don't have any makeup on really or like I don't have any tan on you just got to work your makeup around your fake tan guys haven't you but yeah yeah, these bases are really good for eyes. I love them. Next up, I have yeah, the Morphe Eyebrow Pomade. I it really needs a new one because this is barely anything in there. It's in the shade Latte. I love eyebrow pomades. I could never use them up until a few years ago and now I'm obsessed with them. But this is really good. And yeah, the closest Morphe shop to me is the Newcastle or the Metro Centre. So I'm definitely going to have to look at making a trip to go there. You just just talk up on Morphe products, but yeah, eyebrows are always a must. And then also speaking of Morphe, I love their the Crush the lip liner. It's like the pinky purple. It's so good for making your lips bigger. I love it so much, and it's just like the perfect color to wear with any makeup look as well. And I also pair this with either. I do have a few options here: a Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in Candy Queen, or the Too Faced the Lip Injection in glossy and bossy now these are amazing i absolutely love my plumpy glosses i just feel as if they make your lips look bigger probably don't but they've got like an active ingredient to make them feel like the plumping up in a way but i love them the plumpy lip products always have my heart um and then i just have this mini eyeshadow squad, uh, quad from poundland and i actually featured this in the Poundland testing video but I absolutely love it now like the brown shade in this it's so good I use it it's like my everyday and it's only a pound pound for this it's so good highly recommend to anyone the Maybelline lash sensational mascara this mascara I have used for five years I absolutely love this stuff it it makes your eyelashes look as black as anything obsessed with this and it's in the shade the very black honestly I, I prefer this and over any other the brand the Maybelline is probably the best for the eye products and I, I do also use their eye studio the gel liner in black because it is so good easy to use and it's in a pot as well which is more hygienic um, so yeah they're really good with the duo lash glue in black because the duo glue is really good even though i am allergic to the quick set version of this it is still a really good glue um and i've also got it in the white now as well because i do prefer the white because it it never so much eye makeup but you know what it's fine and then also use the olivia hale eyebrow gel because I got it some home bargains and it's amazing. I absolutely love eyebrow gel. I don't use it all the time, but when I want to make my eyebrows more dramatic, I will use that. You know, it's really good. And then finally, I use the Too Faced the Lip Injection Extreme. I'm not going to lie, I've not even tried this out yet. But the fact it says Extreme, this one is bad enough for making your lips like tingle like mad. But I, I cannot imagine that this one is going to be any lighter, like extreme. Oh my god. But yeah, here is all of my makeup. I, I never actually realised how much I used until I was talking through it all. Some of them they were definitely a mouthful. But, you know, I feel as if there's a lot of pressure. Like, with me working in the makeup industry, there's a lot of pressure to use all expensive makeup but like you need to have all like the mac foundations or nars foundations but the, the truth is a lot of the cheaper makeup brands are actually better or the same quality as the expensive brands this is why i've obviously tested a lot of products and i use a mix of both because i might be funny a lot of makeup is overpriced as we all know as is everything is overpriced now you know but yeah here is all of my makeup i've just been trying just to put it on my bag again but yeah here is my makeup if you guys have any more questions about anything else i use on my face or 
I don't know, if you just have any questions in general, please make sure to give me a message on my Instagram, it is alice.holmes underscore, oh my god, all these messages coming up on my phone. Also please make sure to leave a, a thumbs up on this video, also please make sure to leave a comment and also subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye for one.